Hey guys, Mr. Bollinger here, working in a collaboration with the Deer Disc Channel for Horry County Schools. Today we will be exploring Google Slides and three features within Google Slides that can make getting started much easier and efficient. Traditionally, Google Slides has been used as a lecturing tool similar to PowerPoint, but as Google Slides features and options have expanded in recent years, so have Slides uses within the classroom. Assuming that you know where to access and how to open Google Slides from the Google option icon at the top right hand corner of your account. Let's talk about where to begin when first loading your new slide deck. Go ahead and hit the plus arrow and click create new presentation. Once opening your slide deck, you will notice it resembles a blank canvas. The first thing suggested is to pick a theme from your slide deck. On the right hand panel here, you will see a variety of different themes available to use. As I scroll through the different options available, I want to focus on picking a theme that fits the purpose of this slide deck. For this particular presentation, I am looking for something that's based around technology, and I don't feel as though any of the themes preloaded in Google Slides matches that topic. To solve this, go to your Google search bar and search free Google Slides, and you can very easily grab free slide templates from sites like Slides Go and Slides Carnival and so many more. After downloading, the one I want to click, I will click Import Theme, Upload, and I will select a file from my device. Now I'm going to type in the title of the theme that I would like, and I'm going to hit Upload. After it is uploaded, it will take just a few seconds to load in. Then I will double click, and I will add this theme to my slide deck. Now that our theme is loaded in, let's talk about the structure of the slide deck. Under the layout icon on our toolbar, we can click quickly look through the different types of slide layouts that we have available to us. So for example, if I wanted to showcase a picture or an image, I might grab the caption icon and add the caption at the bottom. If I wanted to transition to another slide, maybe another heading, I have the title option. If I wanted some columns, I have down here. Really these slides are just kind of another way that you can organize your information. For now, we're going to choose the title icon and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to title it inserting. Under the insert icon, there are a variety of options and elements that we can add to our slides. As I scroll through, you see options such as text boxes, images are all available, but so are options like video. So for example, if I wanted to insert a video from YouTube onto the slide, I could simply click video and I could either search it on YouTube, upload it through Google Drive, or my personal favorite is just copy and pasting the URL into the YouTube link available. YouTube will search for the video and you just click it, hit select, and your video will be uploaded. As easy as this was, the same concept applies for inserting a picture. You can either upload it from your computer, drive, photos, URL, or by camera. So again, that is how you use Google Slides to help transform both your lectures as well as the work that your students can be doing both in class and at home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the Deer Disc channel on YouTube for other resources.